This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Merry Christmas and welcome to this second Christmas special Dory Paint video of 2022. And today guys I've decided to make a Lady Grinch doll. I think it's gonna be really fun. Because look, I'm imagining some female version of this Grinch creature living somewhere in her cozy place, busy with her cozy things, and then she suddenly sees Mariah Carey on TV singing All I Need for Christmas is You. And our Lady Grinch becomes completely obsessed with this and she decides to steal Christmas and to become a new Mariah Carey, new symbol of Christmas. I think it's gonna be a very fun project and I'm really excited about it. So let's start working, but before I start working, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, hit the like button. Yeah, now let's start working, let's start the transformation. I have decided to use Abby as a model for my future Lady Grinch. I think she's perfect for all kinds of grumpy and moody characters. I don't really want my female Grinch to be all sweet and cute. Oh, and I've just noticed that she has two left hands. <laughs> That's quite funny. Wait, I will replace it immediately, otherwise I might forget about it later. So now let's prepare this doll for a makeover, let's undress her, let's cut her hair off and let's wipe her face off with pure acetone. Okay, now I can spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I can start drawing. Well, first of all I need to change her skin tone from blue to green and for this I will start with applying a layer of yellow pastels, it will already do most of the job and then afterwards on the next layer I will just apply a layer of green pastels on top of it, kind of to even out the color and then I will start sketching her face and applying shadows and highlights.
You know, I want my Lady Grinch to have yellow eyeballs, like that original Grinch from book illustrations. I think it will look really fun. So this is it, this is the face, you know, I'm really happy about it, she looks creepy and gorgeous at the same time, this is exactly what I wanted. So now I need to blush her body to make it green as well, but I will have to get rid of this icy topper on her skin, on her body, and you know, it will require a lot of sanding with Dremel and with my hands, you know, it's not my favorite process, but there is nothing else to do, you know, it's part of my job. Now she looks all clean and matte, it took me an hour of course, but this is it, it's done. And it means that now I can seal the body with a layer of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will blush it with the same yellow and green pastels. This is it guys, the face and the body are finished, the color transformation is complete. So now I think I want to work on her hair and I will make green hair for her out of this acrylic yarn. So now let's quickly turn this yarn into hair, you've seen this process on my channel already multiple times, so I won't focus on it too much. And then I will glue this acrylic hair to her head using tacky glue. Oh, and let's also add a couple of neon yellow highlights. I think it will look super pretty.
this is what I've made guys. Now let's quickly style her hair to make it kind of more glamorous. Okay, this is it. This is where I'm going to stop working on her hair for now. I don't know, I might change it a little bit later after I add the head decoration, but I will decide it later in the very end. So now let's make a gorgeous dress for her. Check it out. I've bought this shiny red fabric with lots of red sequins, especially for this project, because I'm going to make a dress that would make Mariah Carey feel jealous about, really. So I've decided to make the top out of two layers of this fabric, otherwise it would look a little bit too much see-through and kind of less shiny on her body. And I will also use two layers of this fabric for the skirt. So I've also added two single layered sleeves to the top and now I want to decorate the neckline and the cuffs with this beautiful white faux fur. And it looks already so good, really very happy about the dress, about how it's going. But I still want to make a brown leather belt to complete the look. It will make this dress look like some Santa's outfit. So guys, this is the finished dress and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't mind a dress like this if I had a place or some event to wear it to. Very happy about it. Super pretty dress. So now let's work on her accessories and I want to start with printing a bunch of Merry Christmas words with my 3D printer. really sure which font would look the best on her head, so I've printed a couple of different fonts to try them on her in real life and to decide later. Ah, and yes, this is going to be a golden Merry Christmas hat piece, I probably haven't mentioned it yet. So check it out, which one is the best? Hmm, I cannot really decide between these two, like one is more cartoonish and maybe more kind of in Grinch style and another one is more elegant, more kind of pretty, uh, I don't know, I cannot decide. So let's paint and cover with gold both of them and then I will see which one I like more.
So here are both of them and you know I think I will go with this one because the other one looks I don't know more like a golden brick to me right now the letters are less readable less recognizable You see it's good that I made two of them to see the difference so now let's install it to the doll's head and then we'll move on to the most exciting part of this project. Okay, so now I want to make a tiny Christmas tree out of these things. I don't even know the right name for these things in any of my five active languages. But these are these fluffy wire things for kids crafts. I don't have too many green ones left, but it doesn't really matter because I will paint it later anyway. So I can make it out of any color in the beginning. So let's make it red, for example, just for fun. So I'm taking a barbecue stick, cutting short pieces of these fluffy things, and I'm gluing them to the wooden stick, kind of imitating the Christmas tree structure. I don't want my tree to be too big, I want the doll to be able to hold it in one hand easily, so I think it should be quite small. And guys, doesn't it look perfect? I don't know, it looks even better than I expected. So now I'm going to paint the tree with green acrylics. It will also glue this fluff a little bit together and it will look even more like some pine needles.
I don't know guys, I think it looks already so 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 perfect, I'm really in love with it. So now I want to make some ornaments out of beads and I will also make a star to decorate the top of the tree. And guys, this is my finished Christmas tree and to be honest with you, it looks even better than I expected, really like much better than I expected. I think it looks really perfect, I'm very happy about it. So now she still needs a pair of boots to complete the look and I want to customize these monster high boots, I want them to be red and shiny and with some golden details.
this is it guys, this is the last piece for today, the cutest lady Grinch boots. It's a pity, the boots will always be covered under the dress because they look really good, I think. But anyway, this is it, now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to horizon lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Guys, this is my Lady Grinch and I think she's a real star. I wanted her to be a little bit creepy and weird but very beautiful at the same time. And I think it worked because she looks absolutely gorgeous and a little bit spooky and I love it, absolutely. My favorite part of the project was of course making the Christmas tree, it was pure fun. I would make even more of them, but I will have to wait for a year till the next Christmas for it. I'm also very happy with her outfit, it looks absolutely majestic, I would really wear something like this myself if I was invited to some Christmas ball or something like this. And I especially enjoyed making tiny ornaments for the tree, it was really fun as well, so it was a really fun project for me. So I hope guys that you've liked this transformation as well, I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. It was quite an unusual project for me, so I'm really curious about what you're gonna say. So please don't hesitate to express your opinion in the comments under this video. And if you want to put this little Grinch into your house, you can find it right now for sale on eBay for three days. Please check it out if you're interested. And before I finish this week's episode, I want to thank our sponsor, Squarespace, a powerful website building platform. This year I finally made my own website after dreaming about it for almost six years and it definitely has become one of my biggest achievements of the year, to be honest. Making my own website on Squarespace was actually much easier than I expected, I should have made it much earlier. And you know, now I feel that having my own website opens a ton of new opportunities for me, so more is coming in 2023. So, and now as a person who has just created my own website, I can definitely recommend Squarespace to everyone who is thinking about creating their own website. If you need, for example, an online portfolio or thinking about starting a new online business, Squarespace has all the tools for it. Squarespace offers you really powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts. And you can also create a community on the Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Or you can also connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. This feature will appear on my website at the beginning of the new year. I'm very excited about it because I'm planning to organize doll classes using this members only feature. And you can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. And if this is still not enough, you can always extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tags and ship items across the globe. So if you were thinking about creating your own website, you can try Squarespace completely for free. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash P-A-D-A-S to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon, normally next week on Friday, or maybe in two weeks on Friday, we will see, but anyway, I will see you very soon, love you guys, bye!